This is the second part of a tutorial on making a train animation. In this part, I'll add some shapes and colour to the model of the toy train. The starting point is the file from the end of part one. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Select the engine at the front. Click the eye icon to disable the follow path constraint. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and add mesh cube. Click the object properties and set the X location to minus 0.55. Set the Z location to 1.4. Set the X scale to 0.25 and set the Z scale to 0.6. Without moving the mouse, hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate. Press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis, 90 and enter. Set the X location to minus 1.4 and set the Z location to 1.75. Select the camera, press G to grab and move it out of the way. Add mesh cylinder. Set the X location to 1.1. Set the Z location to 1.3. Press S to scale, 0.25 and enter. And set the Z scale to 0.5 and enter. Add mesh cylinder, set the X location to 1.1, set the Z location to 1.8, press S to scale, 0.4 and enter, and set the Z scale to 0.2 and enter. Hold down shift and select both cylinders. Hold down shift and select all the new parts. Hold down shift and finally select the engine and click join. Click the constraints button and unhide the follow path constraint. Add mesh cylinder. Press R to rotate Y for the Y axis 90 and enter. Go into edit mode and turn limit selection to visible off. Change the view to the right view. Change the view to local. Select a vertex. Press B for B select and select multiple vertices. Press X and delete the vertices. I want to add a face at the bottom and a face at the end of each side. Select a corner vertex, hold down shift and select the three other corner vertices. Press F to make face. Change the view to the front view. Select a side vertex. Press B for B select and select all the side vertices. Press F to make face. Select a vertex from the other side. Press B for B select. Select all the side vertices. Press F to make face. Go back into object mode. Change the view back to global. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the end truck and click the eye icon to disable the follow path constraint. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select the roof, click the object properties button, remove the rotation, object apply rotation. Set the Z location to 0.1. Set the X scale to 2.1 and set the Y scale to 1.6. Hold down shift and add the truck to the selection. Click join. Click the constraints button and click the eye icon to enable the follow path constraint. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Click the material button. 
click the add new material button call the new material yellow click on the diffuse color and put the green onto full select the next truck click the add new material button call the new material blue click on the diffuse color and put the red down to zero and the blue onto full select the next truck click the browse material button and select the blue material that's the end of part two of this tutorial in the next part I'll show you how to make the mountain that the train goes around don't forget that all the files for the tutorial can be downloaded from my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there